Awesome. Uh, welcome everyone and very excited to be here at the first uh, user conference of ClickHouse and talk about two of my favorite database technologies, Postgres and ClickHouse. In this talk, we will first introduce Postgres and ClickHouse and talk about why this is becoming a growing trend across businesses. In the second half, we will do a live demo that showcases the value of ClickHouse for a typical Postgres user who is looking to adopt real-time analytics. And then we will also walk through the journey of a typical Postgres user looking to adopt ClickHouse. Postgres on one hand is the most popular open source transactional database. It has a robust set of features including transactions, low latency CRUD operations, which includes inserts, updates, deletes, and a vast set of like DDL operations as well. It is fully ACID compliant. It has a rich SQL interface that lets you run any query. It has a robust extension framework which makes like Postgres more powerful. It has a vast application and ORM ecosystem and hundreds of such features, making it the default backend for many web and AI applications in the world. ClickHouse, on the other hand, is the fastest analytical database on the planet. It has many purpose-built features like columnar storage, skip indexes, incremental materialized views, and my favorite feature, which is customized stable engines, which lets you power multiple use cases in ClickHouse. And recently, I came to know about the null table engine, which I was like really impressed about, right? And it actually lets you uh, like do data manipulations without actually storing data using materialized views. That was like kind of insane, and Postgres did not have that feature. It also has you know lazy materialization feature, which helps with fast aggregations, which was recently released. And it has native JSON and full text search capabilities and hundreds of such optimizations, laser focused on blazing fast real time analytics. If you see, both Postgres and ClickHouse evolve from the same ethos of open source and have large developer communities around them. In the same spirit, over the past few years, a common pattern has been emerging. Businesses are using Postgres and ClickHouse together to solve most of their data challenges. Postgres and ClickHouse are forming the default data stack. So Postgres helps build web and transactional applications and is representing the system of record, whereas ClickHouse is helping solve analytics and reporting challenges and is representing the system of analysis. I see Postgres and ClickHouse to be two sides of the same data coin. This architecture is being validated by multiple companies across the globe you have companies like GitLab, Instacart, uh, Cloudflare, who use Postgres together to solve most of their data challenges. You also have fast-growing AI companies like Langchain, Langfuse, Vapi, Suvar AI, who are using Postgres and ClickHouse together to solve their data problems. I love this blog post by the co-founder of uh, GitLab, Sid, who talks about how two sizes fit most, which is Postgres and ClickHouse. Without any further ado, let's get into the demo that showcases the value of ClickHouse for a typical Postgres user. This also captures the journey of how you know, Postgres user transitions to ClickHouse. So let's get started. I have a house click application. So this is a real estate listing application which lets me search through listings and find my dream home. You can think of this very similar to a Zillow or a Redfin in the real world. So let me go ahead and search my dream home. <laughs> If you see a bunch of houses pop up, if you see this entire application, right, let it be creating, updating, deleting listings, and showing listings, and also analyzing listings across areas, everything is powered by a Postgres database. right? Let me figure out my dream home, and this is something that I like. Let me go ahead and click this. If you see a bunch of things are popping up, the, the, the price, the number of bedrooms, et cetera, et cetera. Before I go ahead and buy this home, I want to analyze how this home compares to other homes in the area, right? Which is where I want to click this button, which is view analytics for property area. And if you see, this takes me to the analytics side of the application, right? And if you see, my queries are slow. These reports were previously finishing in, you know, few seconds, but now they are taking minutes and sometimes they actually time out, right? And I know why this is happening. The reason is because when I started my business, I just had like, you know, few thousands of listings on my website, but now I have like, you know, millions of listings. I actually have 30 million plus listings, and Postgres is not able to handle this load. And also, by the way, the Postgres is indexed in the right way uh, under the covers. So in this scenario, I want to adopt a purpose-built analytical database, which is ClickHouse, and offload my analytics 
to ClickHouse, but still have my transactions running on Postgres. So creating, updating, deleting, all of that runs on Postgres, but the analytics, which is this page, that would be running on uh, ClickHouse. So with that, I will pass it over to Kaushik to uh, go walk through the journey of a Postgres user to adopt ClickHouse in this scenario. So um, as you know, right, the user has outgrown Postgres, and they want to adopt Click, uh, ClickHouse. To make this journey super easy, ClickHouse Cloud has ClickPipes. With ClickPipes, we have Postgres CDC as a native integration point for ClickHouse. So to do that, all we have to do is we need to go to ClickHouse. So this is the ClickHouse Cloud service that I'm going to use to power the application. It's called um, HouseClick. I click on this. We see a tab called Data Sources. And um, when we click Get Started, you see that ClickHouse Cloud has a bunch of integrations, right? And we have uh, Postgres CDC, which is GA as of today. We should change this. Um, <laughs> uh, you click on that. And then um, the, the database is here is um, RDS. So I name my ClickPipe as UK. Um, set up the host information, the user information, password, database, the typical stuff. We also have SSH tunneling, as well as reverse private endpoints. So for enterprises that want to adopt this, and you don't want to expose your RDS instance to the public IPs, we can connect through with the private link. For this setup, we'll, we'll just use the, the public IP for the connection. We want to do initial load plus CDC. Initial load is the backfill, right? You have multiple terabytes of data already in Postgres. You want to move them over to ClickHouse one time and then start the CDC process. So we have a lot of optimizations to make that part really fast as well. So then we select the publication. Let's go with the default ClickPipes publication. Uh, this is the important step. You need to select um, you know, the, the tables you wish to replicate. We also show really helpful indications like generated columns, whether they can be replicated or not, whether the tables are already part of the publication. This is because we go really deep into every database that we touch. So uh, Postgres is no exception here. We click on Next, and then I click on Create Click Pipe. If you've ever set up a, a CDC pipeline, you need a team of six people managing Kafka, and you know you also need a team of three other people managing Debezium. So we automate all of that for you, and within seconds, you should start seeing the data being replicated. So the first table, which is a smaller table, which has, just has um, 96 rows, is already replicated. And soon we should start seeing the second table also be replicated. Yeah, we do, we do parallel load for partitions, so it's going pretty fast. Um, this is just one part of the migration, right? While this is going on, I'll talk you through the application migration, right? So now that your data is already being flown into ClickHouse, now you need to adapt your application to start consuming the data from ClickHouse. To do this, you have one of two options. One option is to use the Postgres interface that ClickHouse provides, where it's just a click of a button and you change this. But my recommendation would be to use the native integrations that ClickHouse uh, supports, right? So we have drivers for every popular language and framework out there. We are adding more and more. So it's just a few hundred lines of change that I did over here. Um, let me go back and see what the status of the, the data movement is. Um, see, oh yeah, it's now completed. Yeah, you see how simple it was to move data from Postgres into ClickHouse, it was just a few clicks, and uh, the transition is done. With that, I'll pass it back to Sai. So uh, just to summarize what uh, Kaushik explained, so Kaushik talked about, you know, number one, how easy it is to start replicating my house click transactions on Postgres database to ClickHouse and make them, you know, analytics ready. And next, he showed the application migration. ClickHouse is fully ANSI SQL compliant, and it's very easy to migrate your application. We have seen customers, like, take a couple of weeks to, like, a few months. And my recommendation is to go native instead of using the Postgres compatible interface because I'm a, uh, I, I don't believe in, like, you know, Postgres compatible interfaces and extensions because they are mostly like half big and uh, they won't let you unleash the full strength of ClickHouse. So that's the reason go native basically. And so with that, my, my application migration is done. My data is like ready to be queried with uh, ClickHouse. Let's go ahead and see you know how my house click application would look. So I'll change the uh, database and point it to ClickHouse, right? And if you see, it's blazing fast. So let me go ahead and run some you know reports. And if you see, it's super fast. Queries that were previously taking on Postgres like minutes and like they were not finishing now are like blazing fast on a ClickHouse. And I'll just remind you how it was on a Postgres, right? And uh, this is how it was. And on ClickHouse, it was very fast. And also, let's zoom in and look at you know a few queries, right? So this is uh, one query. If you see, it, it does a filter, right? And it took around 4.6 seconds on uh, ClickHouse, right? It does a filter on a specific area, right? And if you look at uh, ClickHouse, let me change this and 
run this on, on ClickHouse, if you see, it's the same query is slightly rewritten with a count if, right? So they, these are the kind of changes that you would need to do while you're going through application migration, right? Most of the queries are same, but then there are more like SQL construct that ClickHouse enables you to enable uh, to do the migration. And if you see, this query took 166 milliseconds. So there was around 20 to 30x improvement for this query. For the other ones, it's like more. But for this query, it's like 20 to 30x improvement on ClickHouse versus like Postgres. Let's take this demo one step further, right? Like, suppose my business has grown like tremendously, right? Like, and now I'm not storing like 30 million like listings, but I have 3 billion listings, right? So it's like 100 times more. Let's see how, you know, ClickHouse uh, uh, runs for that kind of workload. So let me now point the application to my Excel data set, right? Which is actually querying the 3 billion rows under the covers. If you see, it's around 2.95 billion rows, right? And if you see, the performance did not change. It's the same, right? Like, most of the queries uh, are finishing under a second, right? If you see. And uh, this is one, like, big, uh, you know, motivation why customers look to migrate to ClickHouse. They want to have a database that scales as their workload grows, right? So that is one of the primary motivators that we see across customers. So just to summarize the reference architecture that we covered, you have Postgres powering transactions, which is, like, creating, updating, showing listings, right? And you have ClickHouse, which powers real-time analytics, right? Which is comparing my house prices across, like, a given area, stuff like that, right? And I have the Postgres CDC connector, which reliably replicates like terabytes of data, terabytes of transactions from Postgres to ClickHouse and makes them like analytics ready, right? And so basically under the covers, you're using the right tool for the right job. Postgres for transactions and ClickHouse for analytics. And not to say, right, like this particular architecture is being followed by hundreds of customers uh, in ClickHouse Cloud and they use the Postgres CDC connector. And uh, today it went GA, as you know, and it's since the past like six months, it has been like going through extensive like you know iterations, and like there are hundreds of customers already using the service, right? And then it's moving around 100 plus terabytes per month from Postgres to ClickHouse, and these Postgres sources are like Aurora, RDS, like you know Google Cloud SQL, Neon, Superbase, like whatnot, basically. Let's double click into a couple of customers. Let's talk about like Simplicity. Simplicity is a very like well-known cybersecurity company. They are basically like fast growing. And what they do is they do something called as remediation ops. So they help, they aggregate like findings, uh, security findings across 150 tools and, ena and enable companies to detect threats and act on the threats as fast as possible. They have, they store all these findings, right? Like creating, updating these like findings in a fleet of Aurora databases, which is around 60 terabytes of data, right? And they replicate 10 billion like updates per month from Aurora to ClickHouse Cloud, right? And power their customer-facing analytics on ClickHouse Cloud. Queries which were previously like taking minutes and some of them not finishing are now finishing in milliseconds, right? And this is one great testimonial that the customer called out. I love that you know piece where uh, our life has been transforming bits from Postgres to ClickHouse, and I completely agree with that. That's what we did for the last two years. So the second customer is Ashby. This is another reference customer. They are one of the top uh, recruiting platforms in the US. And then they also power their customer-facing analytics uh, using ClickHouse Cloud. And uh, their core transactions, right, which is creating applications, updating uh, applications, all of that is like running on Postgres. And then they replicate like terabytes of data per month from uh, Postgres to ClickHouse. And, and they use the Postgres CDC connector. And uh, uh, also one of the primary motivations for Ashby was uh, to use a reference architecture that scales, right? Like they were seeing like explosion in like their customer growth and they wanted like an architecture that scales with these like large data sets. So Tanya already did the announcement. So by, uh, today marks the day for Postgres CDC connector to be generally available. And as I said, like it's used by hundreds of customers and it's uh, 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 moves 100 terabytes of data per month uh, from Postgres to ClickHouse. And these are all uh, the uh, you know, testimonials and all of that. And I would like to also call out that this is on a personal note, like you know, past 10 months has been a very you know, humbling and a learning experience for Kaushik and myself, because we learned as founders how to integrate a company and how to make an acquisition successful. And I also want to say that this is just the start. We want to you know, make it even more magical for like Postgres users to adopt ClickHouse and run real-time analytics. Thank you. Thank you.